that actually is a separate video. All right, so now the hands go all the way down to the ends of the loops, right where the, the metal ring is. Yes, yeah, so we go all the way down. Now, with your arms down at first, let's find your neutral with your pelvis. Thighs could pick up more as long as the back doesn't overwork. With the straight arms, you'll bring your arms up in alignment with your body. The head is also going to come up in alignment with the body with a slight chin into neck. Gorgeous. So you're in basically a lowercase t with your head being the tip of the t. Bring the little finger towards the hips. Inhale, the palms remain down. Good. Now exhale, return to start. I want you to focus less on the movement of the arms, more on the lift of the chest. So inhale, arms aren't going to go as far. Let's hold them there. Actually, another inch forward. Mm, right there. Roll open. And now return to start. Arms stay high, shoulders stay down. One more time with those straps. Pause there. Keep the front ribs down. Roll the shoulders open. And then return to start. Arms stay high. That's a gorgeous stop position. Rest all the way down. Okay, so you're gonna stay there. And just like I would if you were my student and you did that beautifully, but what I know is if I take the resistance away, your form will be even better, okay? okay. Because a little bit of what was happening, Carrie, is as your arms came back, you were just barely internally rotating the shoulder. Okay. So what I felt like was happening is you were focused a lot on getting your little finger to your hip, which is the cue, but probably not a great one because it's you're so strong, you can get it there. But I was losing the lift, the flight. Okay. You know, like, cause that's the position that we're going for. So, okay. right. so hook your handles on your poles. And since I kind of just sat there and had a conversation with you, chances are you fatigued a little in your neck. So I'm just gonna let you hang for a second before I make you do it. So those are just like the little details that you have to kind of be aware of is, it's a really awkward place for me to have a conversation with you. So I have to be careful and take care of your body. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and pick your legs up just a little, but you know how high. Arms are gonna go completely straight. Very good. And now take your hands and move them out. Gorgeous. So we need a head, uh-huh, very good. Now what happens is because you don't have resistance, you can really get this feeling here. Go ahead and soften the chest down a little more. Beautiful. Now inhale. The arms move to there and you hold. So I'm actually gonna have you go right there, front ribs heavy, chest rolls there. Now return to start. The arms will stay high and the shoulders stay off the ears. Go again. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Return to start. There. Again. Inhale. Pause. Little more roll open of the, yes. Return to start. Now you're just gonna hold right there. Bosom heavy, shoulders rolled open. Rest, good girl. And just hang. <laughs> okay, so stand up on the floor. A couple of different places you can get a counter stretch, but for today, just to do something different, come back here, hold the poles, bend the knees, and stretch right there. Okay. So, Amy, could you kind of see, we got so much better of form. Right when we took those straps away. So that's kind of a testament number one to when you first, we're gonna learn that this weekend, but when you first teach pulling straps and T, you really wouldn't use the straps at all. You're just gonna teach the position. And Carrie, would you agree that that was still really challenging? Oh yeah. So yeah. she, with no resistance on that T, she was working really hard. Very much. So it's kind of cool and you can do that even just for two or three weeks and then add the resistance. Yeah. You're still gonna lose some of the form you know, yeah. no matter what, when you add the resistance, but it's just a great way to program correct movement mm -hmm. before adding that extra challenge. I like it. Um, all right, so we better get backstroke and teaser on the video, right? Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and, um, yeah, have a seat. Um, I'll hand you your handles. All right, girl. Two yellow springs. Start in a tabletop with the legs, salute with the hands. You go. Inhale, arms and legs up, no movement of the carriage. Exhale, open. Okay, a little different this time. Inhale, arms and legs up straight. Exhale, open to a V and hold. Now swoop the arms around. Inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way back. 
Again, inhale, arms and legs up. Exhale, you open. And inhale, that's gonna be a reach with an inhale, like you're gonna tease her up, then exhale, pull back in. Our inhale takes arms and legs up, exhale, open to a V and hold. Then inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it all back in. Last time, inhale, arms and legs up. Exhale, open, hold, breathe out. Inhale, swoop around, like a teaser, reach and reach and reach and reach and reach. And then exhale, bring it in. That last second was good. Hang back for your teaser. It was gorgeous. Okay, I get the breath now. <laughs> yeah, I promise I'll practice. It doesn't look like I have. No, what it looks like is that you've been practicing a lot. Honestly, it really like does. Really confused. Because yeah. you no, but you wouldn't be able to take the cues that I'm giving you if you hadn't been practicing okay. a lot. So you, no, you're showing okay. me very much that you have been working very hard. All right, girl, I'm taking you down to a yellow. Okay. When you're ready, we're gonna use your exhale to get the curl. Good. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. Keep your arms where they are. Take the body down. Body starts, then the arms and legs lower. Gorgeous. Ooh, that was pretty. And use an exhale to look at your toes. Use an inhale to tease her up. Start the exhale. Move the spine before the arms and legs start to lower. Ooh, that was good. Use the next exhale to look at the toes. Inhale, tease her up. That was better than the one before it, but now you're got it. You're almost stuck, but you got it. Start your exhale, spine begins the movement, and you take it all the way back. Drop your straps, stay right there for a second. As a transition, we're gonna lift the head, look to the toes, and teaser up. Take your hands, put them beside your butt, turn your feet towards the window, stand on the floor. <laughs> that was so good. Woo. Good, you get dizzy. I love those little, oh, little transitions. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sit. Yeah. Did um, no. you get dizzy? No. You scared me for a second. Uh -uh. Did I get cross eyed? <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't get cross eyed, but your head kind of, I don't know, it just kind of worried me at the last second. But you're okay. Yeah. Have you gotten dizzy? I mean, I don't breathe yet? this hard when we practice. It's, pra it's that. It's the camera, I think. It's making the camera, nervous. and it really is. Yeah, so that's probably uh -huh. making you totally nervous. But um, I swear when you have somebody on you, you know, telling you every little mm -hmm. detail of what to do, but I'm sure you're nervous. Mm -hmm. um, You'd be nervous even without the camera on you. Probably. You're doing great though. I do want you to know that yeah. I'm making zero judgment. <laughs> oh no, oh no. So I want to skip short box actually. Um, and I'm going to take you through the long stretches. Because okay. you said you wanted air basket, right? Yes. Okay. So um, go ahead. Will you set yourself up? You need a, your bar up high and let's do a yellow and a blue. Yeah, because, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we've got those. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we've got videos of everything, but that short box, I think we've got some pretty good um, yeah. videos of that as well. Okay. Um, and we're going to obviously work through all of this. Um, start on the floor again for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're on the right side. You're going to take your right hand first. Left foot up. Left foot. Left hand and right foot. Good. All right. So I would love for you to take the position you're in and start against the stopper. So come all the way over. I'm going to need the stickies. There it goes. <clears throat> Forgot those. It's okay. okay. Thumbs on the same side. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and start you standing on the floor just to be really classical and nerdy. Of course. <laughs> it really is, especially when you're teaching, <laughs> especially when you're teaching someone who's just learning to start them knees on and then pop them up. It's really, really hard. You, it's, you have a great chance of them getting into a position where their back's going to overwork. Okay. So stepping up like this is going to really help them stay in their belly and not get in that back. Okay. So hand, foot, hand, foot. I'm saying a lot of this for the sake of the video. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're coming over the bar, starting against the stopper, and here you go. Let the inhale take you back, and let the exhale pull you forward, and take it back again, and exhale forward. I want you to go back less, work from your belly, not your arms. Stabilize the shoulder, pause there, start the breath, pull yourself forward so the belly starts your movement back, not your chest and your arms. 
and then exhale. So the arms are there to stabilize you, no question, but don't work the arms so much. Let that be a given. Work from your middle. Exhale forward. Let's take the knees down. That was beautiful. All right, down stretch, feet out to your shoulder rests. And breathe in to prepare. Let's use an exhale to get into the down stretch position. Okay, so we're actually gonna change that position a little bit. You're going more into a knee stretches position right now. Okay, okay it's very easy to confuse that. Okay, take a breath in. Give me more of a pelvic tilt. And it's like a kneeling swan. Yep, so you're gonna come forward. Good, now stay there with another breath in. Give me an overcorrected neutral uh, that way. Now, take your thigh bones and press them forward. There's your position, okay? Gotcha. Dynamic movement, inhale, press to go back. Exhale, pulls you up, it's okay. Inhale, take it back. Exhale it up, so it's a quick back and a slow forward. And control, think up, 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 up. Let's get one more in. Inhale, control the up, 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 up. Tuck your chin in, round your spine back, sit towards your heels. Okay, that was really good. Okay. Um, one correction I would have given you, we're not gonna repeat it today. When you press back, you don't wanna tuck the chin to go. Okay. You're trying to keep that feeling of a kneeling swan, and that's really hard to do. You know okay. what I mean? Everybody wants to draw the chin to move back. Okay. So we keep it lifted the whole time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go up for up stretch on your toes. Normally, whenever I give a correction like that, I would have you repeat it. Okay. But we're, for sake of time, we're gonna just get right into it. All right, so Carrie, I'm gonna support the carriage. I'm pulling it into the stopper for you. I'm gonna have you adjust your feet so your toes come forward about a half an inch. And then you're able to keep your heels digging into the wrists. Okay. So if you're too tippy-toed, you're not gonna have the strength in your feet. Okay. I'm gonna take my foot away now, but I need you to hold your carriage using your core. Ooh, that was really good. All right, girl, move the carriage back. Inhale, pause. Lower the hips, exhale, inhale to the stop, exhale, curl it up, go again, inhale, take it back, pause here, use your abs to pull your hips down, inhale, over the bar, control it, draw the chin in, use the belly, beautiful, take it back again, inhale, you pause. Like a pelvic tilt from the belly, you exhale, lower the hips an inch or so. Now inhale, dig your heels back. That gives you opposition. And now from the belly, you draw the chin in and the hips up. One more time today. Inhale, move the carriage back. As you exhale and lower your hips, you dig your heels. Then as you're coming over the bar, keep that energy back as you float over. Now it's like your belly moves your chin down. <sighs> that was gorgeous. Take it into elephant, walk the heels flat. All right, so big inhale there. Your exhale's gonna dig your heels down and pull your toes up. All right, so I know we talked about a lot of different ways to move your feet. I would not have your feet forward for your height. Okay. Walk your heels all the way back. And just like think about Stacy's height. That was who we adjusted and even Cindy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you some support so you don't overly fatigue here. Um, they are gonna need about an inch movement away from the rest. 